Hello my friends, and welcome to another Journal With Me video. Woo, 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 Okay, let's stop that now. For this video, I wanted to give some life updates, talk about autumn and my passionate love affair that's going on with it. Wow, that was a weird way of saying that. I did not plan that out ahead of time, it just kind of came out. Anyways, I love autumn, and I'm going to talk about that in this video, and just give some general rambly thoughts and such as I usually do in my journal entry or journal entry no that's not what we're doing in my journaling videos so yes just a little side note before we start chatting and catching up I did want to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare we all know I love Skillshare I've been using it for a couple months now and I've talked about it many a time but if you've never used Skillshare, this is your chance. Skillshare is an online community of creators who can teach you things about the stuff that they are good at. It can be a creative field like photography or filming equipment, everything from languages to watercolor and painting. I've been using it, my friends have been using it, and everyone who has used it has told me how much they love it, including me. I love it as well. So if you would like to give it a try, go ahead and click the link down in the description box. You can get two months free, a free trial, and if you end up liking it, it is $10 a month, which is a pretty sweet deal for all the learning that you get to do. Okie dokes, back to the journaling. This page is kind of dedicated to the two weeks surrounding midterms, but like more specifically the non-school related things that I did during those two weeks. My midterms were spread throughout like the end of one week and the beginning of the next. Um, and so I did some fun things and I thought that I would do a little journal page dedicated to like those two weeks, that kind of time frame, but also just like the general autumn mood. I have just been having the best autumn ever. I've mentioned a couple times now that New York City in autumn, like autumn is my favorite time of year in New York City. I just think it is so magical it's like living in a movie or some cute college k-drama i literally don't even know how to explain it and i don't know if everyone experiences autumn this way but i just love autumn here i think it is so magical and wonderful and i've been having these beautiful autumn days that i just wanted to talk about i just hit the whoa but you guys can't see that so that was redundant so anyways, the one day that I kind of included some stuff in this journal with me from it was a Wednesday. I don't have classes on Wednesdays, but I did have homework to do. And so I had to go to the Met for some like researchy type homework. And then Kat had some photography homework to do. So she asked if she could take pics of me and I was like, ha ha, free Instagram pics, yas. So we went to the Met that day is the story that took all that setup just to say we went to the Met one day. But it was just this beautiful, sunny, like cool, crisp, but not really cold, but like not really hot. Just a perfect autumn weather day basically. And the part of the city where the Met is, is so beautiful. It's right next door to Central Park. One of my favorite bakeries is over there. I don't know, like the buildings are just super pretty. And so we were over there and it was just awesome like it just was the epitome of fall in new york city or new york city in fall uh and also i just love the met it's just a great place you know so that and also some things that kat and i were talking about just got me thinking about like autumn in general autumn is often very very nostalgic for me i often think about what i was doing the last year when it was autumn and so i've been comparing and contrasting who i was last year and who i am this autumn and like how i'm experiencing everything and not just like circumstances of my life because they've changed a lot. I'm living in New York now. I'm in school full time, just super busy. I've even made some new friends. So circumstances, circumstances, circumstantially, uh, my life is very different, but I also just feel like it's me. Like I've just changed and grown and the ways that I used to react naturally, some of those ways have changed. And that is just a wonderful, beautiful thing to see. And my gosh, autumn just makes me think about these things. I also get really antsy in autumn. I don't know why, but every single year, like for the past couple at least, I want to like redecorate my whole room and completely change my aesthetic. And I start wearing things that like I never would have worn before. And I start getting really annoyed at like whatever colors I decorated my room with. 
So recently I've redecorated my room three times. However, I've only done it in small portions. So soon I'm gonna just do a big ol' redecoration. I don't mean that I'm actually gonna move anything around. I'm just gonna change up the stuff that's on my walls, which honestly I do all the time. So like, that's not that big a deal. It's just an example of how I feel in the fall. I just feel like this urge to change and to like push myself and to try new things and to dress differently and look at things differently and eat different foods and go to parties at the Gucci store. Yep, did that last night, it was wild. But yes, it has just been like a super reflectful, reflectful, is that a word? Reflectful, hmm, it's gonna be a word right now. Um, it's just been like a reflective, is that the right word? Reflective time of my life. I've been like looking back at things and also just thinking about how I wanna change and be better, I really want to be more proactive about some artsy things like writing poetry you know the cool ideas that you have where you're like hmm i should make a zine or whatever and then you like don't do it i want to actually start doing those things something about being in school has made me actually want to be more productive the fact that i'm busy just makes me want to be even more busy so i've been feeling the urge to like listen to audiobooks and podcasts and watch documentaries yes we will see how that goes Maybe I'll just stay the same forever, but probably not because people change. One of the other things that's been like getting me through midterms and just school and like this time of the year in general is that in November, I've got some pretty exciting concerts going down and having something to look forward to. I've found that that is really powerful for me. Even if it's something smaller, like having plans with a friend in the middle of the week, I've just found that like having something a little bit in the future that I'm really excited about, it like really helps my mood in general. And so November, uh, I'm seeing Super M in concert, Baekhyun and Kai. I'm gonna sob at this concert just because Baekhyun and Kai, my exo boys, two of them, loves of my lives, have my whole heart, and Taemin too, like what a legend, wow. Anyways. Obviously, I love my NCT boys, but I've seen most of them in concert before uh, and at the airport that one time. <laughs> Fun story. The other concert that I'm going to may be a surprise to some of you, but none of y'all who actually know me in real life. It is J Park. I am secretly the most hardcore J Park stan music wise um, and just like his vibe. I have been loving his music ever since I got into K-pop. Man is just a legend, not only a K-pop legend, but like now he's signed to Rock Nation. He owns like two or three record labels. Yes, I've been a fan of J Park for like three years now. So obviously he's been one of my like most wanted to see in concert and I'm finally seeing him in concert next month. I can't wait, it's gonna be a lit time. Oh my gosh. So anyways, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about today. I've been rambling for a long time. I hope you guys are doing great. Let me know what's going on in your lives. Let me know how you feel about autumn. Let me know what's something cool that you observed in yourself that has changed from last year to this year. I love you all so, so much. My battery is about to die. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. Ah, goodbye. Have a wonderful day. That horn just went off.